if you are organizing a meeting, please limit your attendees based on the agenda of that specific meeting, not of the entire project. So what do I mean by this? So when you look at an entire project from start to finish, it will involve a lot of people, right? However, please take note that meetings come in phases. There is phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. There's the introduction part, the preparation part, the execution part, and finally the evaluation and monitoring part. If your attendee is intended to be part of the introductory or the preparation part, they are going to be essential in that meeting. However, if that attendee needs to know about the project, but you do not need to get their inputs as early as now, it is safe that you don't need to include them in that meeting. And why is important? Because time is so rare that you want to save it only for people who are going to make the most out of it. So when you start creating that in meeting invitation, categorize your agenda. Is it an FYI for your information? Is it a FYA for your action? Or is it for your reference? Participants who are part of the preparation and introductory part of a project are in the for your action mode. So they have to be in the meeting. But if they are in the evaluation or in the execution part, six months later on, one year later on, they can just be an FYI or an FYR. And for that reason, you can copy them in the meeting, but you don't need to make them required. They can be optional or they can be recipients of the minutes of meeting right after it has been conducted. Right? Can I get an exclamation mark if we can relate to that practice? So I'm a bit disappointed because in my experience, this is only exercised as a culture by multinational companies. But in a lot of organizations I worked with, uh, locally owned companies, family owned companies, small and uh, medium enterprises, there is yet a lot of space to improve on in terms of taking out that urge that the more people you invite, the more robust the decision is, which is not true all the time. So I want to highlight bigger set of attendees. More attendees does not mean that you will end up with the best decisions. There's this saying that goes, too many uh, cooks spoil the broth. And that is because there are some people who whose opinions may be good, but are not essential in that meeting. So you can take them out and you can leave them out, especially when they have other things also to do. Number two, and this is the important part, you have to manage your reputation. If you invite people too early and they realize that they should not have been invited at all and their time got wasted, they cannot take back those one hour or two hours, ladies and gentlemen, they will think badly of you next time. And this is not a good precedence to how they see you as a project manager. Right, So you don't want to be the kid, the, the boy who cried wolf out of the convenience of wanting to collect every person because you think being complete is a good thing. It may be bad for your reputation in the end. Right. Also, number three, if your attendees, I want to highlight this. If you did not specify the agenda and because it wasn't clear and your attendees who are going to be part of the meeting ended up not being the decision makers, you have two options. Number one, if those important people are not available, consider to reschedule the meeting at a time when those important people can be present. Or number two, your goal, if you cannot move the date and time, is to convince those people and say, hey, I really need you to be in this meeting because of X, Y, and Z. Many times people don't attend because they are not clear of what you need from them and why you are inviting them in the first place, right? Give us some exclamation mark if we are relating to this tip number one, that when you make those meetings, limit it based on the agenda of that specific meeting and not the project. When I was working in the telecommunications industry, so 15 years ago, and I'm revealing my age now, which is not so young anymore. 15 years ago, I was a management trainee at Globe Telecom. And telco companies are always very complex with their uh, employees. 
You have people from marketing, finance, sales, and it doesn't end there. You have people from IT. You have people from engineering. Those two things are different. IT people can refer to the hardware. Engineering people can refer to the network. Then you also have customer service. You also have people in the branches of stores. So many people are involved. My biggest pet peeve is that when someone is launching a project, the tendency is to invite everyone as if it's a family reunion. Right? In an ideal world, it will be great to invite everyone. But at a time when time is so scarce and people have other things to do, be considerate of their time also. Invite only when they are the decision makers or have an important input to give during that meeting.